Okay, we should be live. Hello, everybody. Good evening. I hope uh, I hope you're all well. Happy Monday. Um, I will wait to uh, to see when you come online. But uh, tonight, a um, little bit more subdued than what we normally have. I thought we'd have a couple of games, more kind of sit down games that were focused more around the games um, and interacting and uh, chatting with you guys. Um, if that's all right, and then we'll save the Friday nights for the madness. So for Friday nights, we're going to have pub quizzes. Um, as you know, we've got a uh, dog racing, horse racing. I've got lots of other games uh, coming up on Friday. So I thought on a Monday, um, we could just be uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. We can play bingo and different games. And I've got uh, I've got some games to play uh, with you guys uh, this evening as well. Let's see who we've got coming in. We've got Dave in. Hello, Dave. We've got Vicky joining us as well. Rona is joining us from Ireland. I hope you're all well. Um, and Fiona's with us as well. Paul's with us. So, um, as you're at, hello, Laura, good evening to you. Um, as you are joining me, let me tell you what you need for this evening. Um, I'm going to try and play two games alongside each other. So I want this to be for families, but also if you're, um, on your own as well, uh, it's an opportunity to kind of play two games alongside themselves. And all you need to do is have a pen and a bit of paper. Um, and that's it. And then we'll play along. Before I go any further, I want some love hearts for a lady that's just joined us here. Claire has joined us. Now, Claire is a paramedic. She is on the front line every single day. And I know she's absolutely exhausted. So she's she's got a break. I would have thought after everything that's going on out there, if you had a break, the last person you want to be watching is me. Um, but Claire, thank you for everything that you are doing. You'll see the love hearts that are coming for you 100 percent. Um, so good evening to uh, to everybody that is uh, that is joining us and coming in. Right, let me explain the uh, the format of what I'm going to try and do this evening. So we are going to um, play Pictionary, and we're also going to play Countdown. Um, we're not going to do any of the maths in Countdown. It's just going to be spelling. So what I've got first of all is two bags, Scrabble bag, bag full of um, consonants and a bag full of vowels. And I'm going to pick out eight letters, so five consonants and three vowels. And I'm going to show you um, what those are. And as a family, as yourself, I want you to write down the letters and see what words that you can come up with. Um, I've got a cheat dictionary here as well, so I can see what words can come up with it anyway. Um, I just thought that would be a fun game to play, something fun for you to be thinking about um, whilst, uh, whilst you are um, looking at the dictionary. A um, couple of quick messages coming in as well. Claire, our paramedic friend, stay at home, people. I can't say it any better than that, basically. Hi, Jane. Good to have you here with us as well. Hi, Hugo, watching from Portugal or, or not from Portugal, but Hugo's Portuguese. We, we are truly international with our games tonight. So let's start, shall we? Before I go into Pictionary um, and your participation is uh, is absolutely vital. So please put up on here with Pictionary what you think the pictures look like, and then I'll say who they're from. Most of them have been drawn by people's kids as well, so I'll give the kids a shout out and we'll make it a lot of fun. But first and foremost, this is what we're gonna start with. I know that the letters are gonna be backwards, so I will read them out to you. So if you scribble them down, um, you know, I'm gonna give you five, 10 minutes to, to think about this. It's not gonna be straight away. Um, but the letters are R for Roger, O for Osama, K for Kia, U for Unicorn, L for Lots of Love, C for Classic, S for Shenanigans, and O for Orville. Okay? R O K U L. C, S, O. Write those down, scribble them down, have a think, think up some words. I'll ask you, don't send um, your uh, whatever words that you can make up with it yet. Kids, it doesn't matter how long the words are. If you can spell a three letter word, spell a three letter word and send it in to me. But without further ado, let's start Pictionary. So we're gonna start with a picture that was sent in to me by Charlotte Hickmore. So hello, Charlotte. I hope you're uh, you're well with um with uh, with the family at the moment. This is your picture, and I would like you all to guess what picture this could be that Charlotte has sent in. Now that's the picture to begin with. I will hold it there just uh, just to begin with. Sorry about the reflection. 
Have a look. It looks, I mean, it, could it be someone in bed? What could that be? I'm going to wait for you guys to start sending me some, uh, some comments and some suggestions. And if you don't get it, I will, uh, I'll maybe I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit more so that you can have a think. Nail varnish, says Vicky Webb. It's a school night, by the way, so I um, hope you're all glad to see that uh, I'm not going to be drinking. No, that would be totally irresponsible on a school night. So it's lemonade all the way for me. By the way, today's show is sponsored by Foster's. Doesn't matter if we're in the apocalypse or not, I'll always be drinking shandy. Right, so someone says it's a bed. Someone in bed, bed. Everyone thinks it's a bed. Liana thinks it's a jail. Michael thinks it's someone self-isolating. It might, this might be how you feel. Before I zoom into it, can I just say, by the way, what have I learned today? Let me tell you people what I've learned today. I've learned today that teachers are not paid enough money. They're not paid enough money anywhere near enough money. Thank you to, uh, to all the teachers and everything you do. I never realised quite what you do <laughs> until day one, which has led me to this. Although, to be fair, the kids have been absolutely great today. Right, let's zoom in on Charlotte's picture then. Right, now that might tell you a different story. I know some people said that it was a sleeping bag or a bed. Now what do we have here? Auntie Sarah, the teacher is in. She's agreeing. Teachers are not paying enough money. What do we think this is? As does Fiona. Thank you, everybody. As oh, we've suddenly got all the teachers coming in now. That's right, Helen. Congratulations. Thank you to all our teachers and TAs, everyone that's out there. What could that be? It's not a bird cage. That's close, Megan. It's not a bird cage, though. I'm going to go to the next picture in a second which is Bethany's, but let's see if we get it. Rory thinks it's a jail too. Amy thinks it's a birdcage. It's not, it's Charlotte's hamster in her cage. It's the hamster in the cage. Thank you very much for drawing that and sending that in to us, uh, Charlotte. Let's go on therefore to your, uh, to your sister's picture and then we'll come back to the, um, uh, the word game quiz as well. I'll give you the letters again in case you're thinking. It isn't self-isolating, it looked like that, but it's not. This is the next picture. Let's see if I can get this up for you right. What do we think this is? This was sent in by Bethany. Sorry about the light, by the way. There we go. Once I know I've got it, I'll hold it. What do we think this could be? Helen thinks that, uh, that, that the hamster cage was awesome, by the way. Good shout, Kim. It wasn't a grabbing machine, though. It was, uh, it was Bethany's hamster cage. Can we, Helen, I, can, we, can we find out what, what Bethany's hamster is called? Leanna said, did you say it was a, uh, Leanna said she said it was. Congratulations, Leanna. Then you got that one right. Vicky Webb, straight in there. It is indeed a castle. Everyone's coming in with a castle. Nicholas says it's a castle as well. Lisa says it's a castle, which to me just tells me, Bethany, how good your drawing is. Everyone's already spotted that as a castle. Um, I've got one more for you, and then we're going to go back to the, because uh, I know some new people are joining, so I'm going to go back to the word game so you can pick your letters and everything. Um, in fact, no, let's go to the word game quickly because a couple of new people have joined. We're also playing um, like a countdown type game. So in the background. So I want you to write these letters down and have a think. Make up words for me. Let me know what words um, that you can think of. We have the letters R, O, K, U, L, C, S and O. OK, so those are the letters um, that we're currently uh, playing up with now. Con well, well done, Katie. Congratulations. You said castle. That was right. Ingrid thinks it's a castle as well. Keep sending in your answers. We've got the names of the hamsters. There's two hamsters. I only saw one hamster in the picture, uh, in the first pictionary. They are Luna and Patch. Um, I hope they're watching as well. Let's see what Bethany um, and Charlotte have got for us next, shall we? This is the final picture. What do we think this could be, everybody? This... Let me just handle it so you can see it. Now, if you, you probably can't read it because it's backward, but this says, Mummy's favourite drink. Look at that. And it doesn't look like a glass. This is Helen. 
This is Helen's favourite drink. It looks like a goblet more than anything else. What could this be? What do we think is in the glass though? It's clearly a glass of something, but what do we think is in it? I'm gonna show you the letters again. I'm just gonna hold the letters up if you're just joining us to, uh, to play the word search. Gin, that's a good shout from Amanda. It's not gin though. It's not gin, mummy's wine, yeah? Everyone's saying wine, but what, what, come on people, get creative. It's, what kind of wine is it? It's not a pink gin. Red wine. What could it be? Pink gin, it's not pink gin. These are the letters, remember, which we're gonna to go to in a minute. Everyone's saying gin, it's, it's wine, but what kind of wine? Helen, no one, could, no one could pick, not red wine, and it's not white. It's not pink gin. Purple gin. Mam juice. I think that's what she needs, wine or gin. It's not wine or gin. It's not Kiri Royale. Is no one gonna get this? It's, it is wine o'clock, I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure Helen's currently drinking at the moment. She's still bemused. What could it be? It's not Pinot. If it's not white wine, and it's not red wine, and it's wine, it's rosé. Congratulations. Well done. Amanda got it right. It is rosé. So, those are some of the pictures we've got straight away. Shall we have a little look at um, the letters that you've got then? Uh, the words, rather, that you've got. Now, I've checked with, uh, with Google and there is a seven letter word in here. Let me know what words your kids have come up as well. It doesn't matter how big or uh, how small the word is. What word can you pick out of here? R-O-K-U-L-C-S-O. -O. Still the drinks are coming through. Rosé, claret, Merlot, pink champagne. It was pink wine. Pink... Helen's definitely drinking, whatever it is, the glass is probably empty now. Okay, so have a look at these. Have a look at these. I'm gonna find you a couple more for, uh, for Pictionary. Anton, are you cheating? Are you cheating? You're right, guys, colors, congratulations. If you've picked out colors, rock, luck. Let's see what other, um, other little gems that I've got in here as well, bear with me. There are a few six letter words in there. Colors is a seven letter word, congratulations, locks. Um, there are a few six letter words. So you could have had crooks. Um, you could have had, uh, well, that's it. All the other ones, I don't know what they mean. Locks, rucks, cooks, corks, crook. Right, well then, if you've done that one, I'm gonna reset this game. So let me put some of the, some of the letters back in. Make sure I put them in the right bags. We'll pull out eight more letters, put those up, scribble them on your pads, and then we'll do a little bit more Pictionary. And again, I'm gonna do this game every Monday. So if you or your kids want to send me anything in, send them in pictures and we'll get them up. We've got more pictures from more people's kids to put up in a second. But first of all, let me just give you your letters to, uh, to scribble down again. I know Boris has got a, um, an announcement to make at half past eight, so I will be gone way before then so you've got time to, uh, to find out what it is that's happening today in the crazy world that we live in. Right, but first of all, let's, uh, let's pop these down and get them across to you. So, the next letters, I can't count, there we go. The next letters that we're gonna be working with are as follows. What words can you wonderful people come up with? The letters D, I, for igloo, B for brilliant, U for Uranus. not for Uranus, U for utopia, T for Terence, E for Edward, S for self isolate, and T for toilet paper. Those are your letters. Scribble them down. And uh, I'll show them to you in again in a second and we will get to a little bit more Pictionary. Now, let me just go through these pictures. Bear with me one second while I get them up and ready to roll. Because this is one of my favorite ones. Now, my, uh, my little nephew, Freddie, is watching and Freddie is only five. So 
can we uh, can we have a can we have a quick shout out for Freddie because I think he's got to go to bed soon. So I promised I would get a couple of a couple of his a uh, couple of his pictures up ready. Um, I have to say Freddie's pictures. I'm not being biased. I know he's my nephew, but probably are my favourite ones. As you will see why in a uh, in a second. Yeah. So this is Freddie's first offering for me, peeps. What do we think? Here we go. Look, all the love's coming in for Freddie. All those love hearts that you can see there, Freddie, they are all for you. Is going on here. <laughs> oh dear. Now this one makes me laugh. Because it just, you know. There's, a, there's part of this picture that looks seriously wrong. Seriously, seriously wrong. I'm not quite sure what this, uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what this person is doing right now. We're getting close now. Nicholas says it's a fairy. Lots of love. Lots of people saying hello to Freddie. Anton, hi, Freddie. Everyone's saying hello to you. Wave back to everybody. I've got no idea now if people are giving me words or, uh, or, or they think that this is the picture. It's not a pickle. Fiona thinks it's a fairy. I'm not taking fairy. It's not a butterfly. It's not a fairy going to the toilet. <laughs> Lisa's got it right. It is the tooth fairy. Now, the tooth fairy's um, other hand here, this is, this is the tooth fairy's other hand that you can see right here. When my sister-in-law sent this picture to me, I, I thought the tooth fairy looked, you know, happy. Some might say excited to be here, to be on, a, on the big Pictionary game. But this is Freddy's... Uh, Freddie's tooth fairy, and now I can fully see and appreciate why. So congratulations, Freddie, that's your first picture. Yes, Freddie. Um, let me just show you the letters one more time, if you're thinking of some words, and then we'll come back. We'll, we'll do the words, when you've got your words, don't send them through to me yet. We'll, we'll do a couple of games of Pictionary, and then we'll, we'll chuck all your words down. Um, so we have the letters D, I, B, U, T, E, S, and T. T. Oh, do you know what? Just do what you want because people are sending me up words already. That's a good one. Suited's great. Bed sit as well. Going in there from Dave. Congratulations. That's uh. Have we got any seven letter words then? Let me see if we've got any seven letter words coming in. Right. Let's have a look. Now, a couple of questions of where Noah is. I'll tell you where Noah is. Noah's there. Noah, sit forward. Wave. There we go. There's Noah. Yeah. So uh, as uh, as Noah said to me tonight, that that basically sounds rubbish, Dad. I don't want to be involved in that. I want to be involved in the mayhem on Friday nights. Um, oh, Friday night. By the way, just an idea for Friday night. This is uh, this is what I'm thinking. This is what's in the crazy head of mine before what we go to the next Pictionary. I'm thinking maybe we'll have a beach party. Yeah. Seeing as everybody got in trouble yesterday for, for being morons and going to the beach, let's be honest. Um, how about we save ourselves the trouble and we have a beach party? So if you can, um, make yourself some cocktails, get your sunglasses out, get your loud shirts on and we'll have a beach party quiz. Quiz at the beach. Does that sound good? Quiz at the beach it is. Right, I've got another picture from Freddie. Um, I just love it. I... <laughs> this is Freddie's next picture. Here we go. What? What is this, people? What could possibly be going on here? My Auntie Hillary's in from Canada. Yay, Auntie Hillary! A very uh, good afternoon. You had a little chat with her before. I hope you're well. Everyone, good. Everyone's up for a beach party. Then we'll have a beach party on Friday. What is going on here? Elizabeth's just joining us. Rory says it's a bird. It, it looks like, I mean, it is a bird. It is a bird, to be fair. David's in from America. Hello, everyone from America coming in. Shelley, my cousin Shelley. And again, can I get some love hearts for Shelley? Because once again, on the front line, helping us um, in our amazing NHS. Anybody that comes in that we've got that's working at the NHS, I just want to show as much love as possible. She might be 50, but she's still going. Congratulations, and Shell, thanks to you, thanks to Claire, thanks to everybody on the front line for everything that you were doing. So, what have we got here? What could this be? It's not a peacock. Ha right, I'm going to give you some clues. 
What kind of bird is it and what's it doing? What's the little green splat thing next to it? It's not a duck farting. That's a great shout, but it's not. Could it be? It's a type of bird and it looks like it's chasing like a, uh, could it be like a type of fruit? What bird and what fruit? And seriously, this is, this is my five-year-old nephew that, that has come up with this amazing, amazing drawing. What kind of bird and what kind of fruit share the same name, it's not duck poo, and are chasing each other? What kind of bird and what kind of fruit share the same name? It's not an angry bird. I'll give you literally 10 more seconds. What bird and what fruit share the same name? Severica. It's not a duck being sick, Rory. <laughs> Amy's got it. It is. Amy, congratulations. This is a kiwi chasing a kiwi. This is what my nephew sent me. A kiwi? A kiwi chasing a kiwi. And this is why I want lots of children to send me in their photos because... Just amazing. Couldn't, couldn't even write it if we tried. Okay. Here we go. We've got lots of people coming with the right answers now. Well done, Freddie. Amazing drawings. We've got some more drawings coming up as well. Um, let me just show you, because I know we've got people joining all the time. Let me show you the letters that we're working on as well. D-I-B-U-T-E-S-T. -E if you've got a pen and paper, write those down. Um, work out some words with it, see what you can get from it, and we'll, uh, we'll check those words in a minute. But right now, let's, uh, how are we doing for time as well? Let me just make sure I'm not a... Uh... 7.52. 7.52, oh, wow, okay. I'll, I'll move a bit quicker then. Let's get to, uh, let's get to some more. Look at the comments for Freddie. Genius child, well done. Lots of people are saying debut on the, um, uh, on the Scrabble, on the word game as well. <laughs> I will put it into the cheat and find out for you in a second. But before I do that, let's go to, um... Let's go to Oscar. Right, we're going to go to Oscar quickly. Now, this is what Oscar has drawn for us, everybody. This is Oscar's picture that's been sent in to me. Oh, I have a message from Miss Thompson. Now, what could this be? Looks, hmm, you've got... Uh, it's like a dot, isn't it? Something red in the middle. People are saying the word but to me. Are you talking about the Scrabble game or the, uh, or the picture? But's the best you can do on the... Uh, well, let me have a look. Let me type it into my Scrabble cheat while I don't make sure I don't lose... Um, uh, have a look at this picture. Give me some ideas while I quickly type these letters in. Let's see what the best we can do. And then we'll get some more letters for you. So D... Oops. D... I... B... U T E S T. Right. And then I'll have a look at what you think this could be from Oscar. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Who, uh, there are only two seven letter words, by the way, which I'll come to in a second. It's not a hole in one. It's not an England rugby shirt. <laughs> it's not a plum, Rory. It's not an eyeball. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not the eye of Sauron. It's not a target board. Have a look a little bit closer. No, no, no. Think about, I'm going to give you a clue, right? I'm going to give you a bit of a clue. Um, they, were, they might be doing this in Alaska. What would they be doing in Alaska? This is submitted to us by Oscar. <laughs> Sharts, not shirt. What would they be doing in Alaska, everybody? Nope, it's not the, uh, the ring. It's fishing. Close. It's f in fact, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it, Shelley. It's fishing through the ice. That's right. It's catching a fish through ice. Ice hole fishing. Dave, well done. That's your grandson who sent that in to us. Congratulations, Oscar. Thank you very much for sending in that picture. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, let me quickly go to the word that we had, because lots of people were sending in words to me. A lot of people couldn't get, only got butts, I think. Um, who said butties? B-U-T-T-I-E-S. Um, I don't know what butties is, but if that was you, 
then congratulations, you got the, uh, the, best, the best letter, the best word rather. Um, and apart from that, there wasn't really much else out there. Right, I'm gonna put these away and then I'm gonna find you another picture as well. Again, keep sending me in um, your pictures as well as we go along. No Noah's enjoyed himself so much, he's off to play Fortnite. I've got a, uh, love you too, buddy. I've got a couple more um, games to play in Pictionaries. So I'm gonna put the next picture up for you. Let's see, who else have we got here that sent us in a picture? We've had some great ones from Freddie, from Oscar. What else have I got in here? Um, ah, we've got one in from, um, from Rory. Right, let's see what Rory's got for us, shall we? And then whilst you're looking at this and having a think and sending me some, some answers, I will pick out the next letters for us. So this is Rory's. A butty's a sandwich. Oh, like a bacon butty. There you go. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for letting me know. Hi, Emel. Thanks for joining us. Good night, Freddie. Freddie's off to bed. His work here is done. No night, buddy. So this has been put in by Rory. What could this be? What do we think it is? I'll hold it up to you again in a second. I'm just going to get your next letters out as well, quickly. Um, for the next word. Let's see how we go. So, we're having five uh, consonants and three vowels. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's get out the vowels. Give me a bit of a stir. It's not a hedgehog. Anton, congratulations, it is a bear. It's a bear, some great shouts. How good is, can we, can we see some love for Rory? Because that's a great bear that he's drawn there. Rory. Well done, Rory. Thank you for sending in your picture. Let's see what the next letters are then. Cookie's in the house. Hiya, Cookie, good to see you. Let me just explain to, uh, to everyone, if you are just joining us, what we're doing. So we're playing kind of two games simultaneously. Um, we're playing anagrams where I'm putting up uh, eight letters for you to pick and um, make a word from and send me in what word you can pick and think of. And in the same time, we're playing Pictionary, um, but they're your pictures. You've sent, you, you or your kids have sent your pictures into me um, and we're all having a guess and seeing what we've got. Um, so here are the letters for the next one. L for Lucky. E for Engelbert Humpledink. T for... T, I for iguana or Indian, B for, because that's pretty much all I do now on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, that's all I talk, G for giraffe, I for idiot, and D for Donkey Kong, okay, L E T. I B G I D. Hi, your cookie mate. Great to uh, great to see you in the house with us as well. So I'll show you those again. If you've written them down, start having a think. Meanwhile, let me go to the Pictionary dictionary. Ah, we've had some kids ones, so I think it's time to have a uh, a a more grown up one that's been sent in to me. I've got a couple of grown up ones as well. I'm going to be coming to Kim's in a second. Um, Oh, look at Helen coming in with Tilted already. Congratulations, a set of grilled. We've got lots of, lots of uh, words coming in. This is by my lovely, wonderful stepdaughter, Megan, who's 21. What do we think is happening in this picture, everybody? What do you think has happened here? Have a look at it. It looks... um. I don't know, it looks like a toilet roll. It, lo it looks like someone's walking into a room and maybe they're dropping something. What could it be? Let me know what you think. It, yeah, there's toilet roll there, but that's not the action. I, I asked everybody to tell me what it is that they're doing. They're dropping something. I, th I, th I think the toilet roll is irrelevant. It's what they're dropping on the floor. What do we think they could be? Nope, it's not trash. Good shout, Vicky. <laughs> it does look like panic buying, but it's not panic buying. What could this be? What 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 gem has uh, has Megan put in? Nope, the last loo roll. Re nope, reusing the loo roll. The last toilet roll. All of these 
are brilliant. Your suggestions are fantastic and I think they're absolutely great. Dropping the toilet roll, brilliant suggestion. Nope. Megan has called me and told me that this is a drawing of her dropping ice cream on the floor. What? I think that Megan might be drinking on a school night as well. Close, Auntie Hilary saying drop the coffee. No, she's dropping her ice cream on the floor. Thank you for joining us for that one, Megan. Um, Kim, Kim has sent me in some fantastic ones. She's uh, she, Now, all I'm gonna tell you about Kim's is that she's themed them for us, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you what the themes are, but I think you're soon gonna get what these themes are as we go along. Oh, hang on a minute, Megan. No, that's the other one I drew. Megan, the other one you drew was clearly a meat and two veg and I am not putting that picture up in front of children. Then what, then what was, I, I'm not showing that picture, mum. You can tell me it's the wrong picture. I am not putting up a picture, that picture, on here with children. Um, Meg, could you let everyone know what, what your picture, I'll bring it back then. I stand corrected. Megan, let everyone know what your picture is. It's probably something equally as random, but let's find it again. Let's wait for Megan's comment. Megan, what is this? Tell us what this is, Meg. What is this picture? We're waiting, We're, I'm showing it. We're waiting to hear from you. What could this be? Tell the nation, has anybody got it right yet? What could this be? It's reusing toilet paper, oh okay. It is reusing toilet paper. Everyone that said reusing toilet paper, I apologise, I stand corrected. I'm only the host after all. Um, right, so that's Megan reusing toilet paper. Where was I? Oh, I was going to Kim's, wasn't I? Let me take you to Kim's ones quickly and then we'll go back to the, uh, to the letters and see how we've got on. So, what is this? This is Kim's first drawing and you will see the theme to it. Hi, Anton, good to have you here and Helen as well. Guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight and just playing along and hopefully forgetting about everything else and having a bit of fun. Say what you see here, because you'll soon see the theme that um, Kim's put, and I think it's very clever. What do you see? Right, Vicky's in straight away. It is a hook. Congratulations. So it's hook. Hook, Captain Hook. That's the first one that Kim sent through to us. Well done, Tegan, as well. Tegan's coming in. Amy saying hook. What would this be then? If that's hook, what is this? and you'll soon start to get the theme as we move on. Lots of people have already got the hook. I'm waiting to see what you think she's got up here. And then you'll see very quickly uh, where Kim's going um, with her themes. And then we will move back to, um, to the letters again uh, and see where we go from there. Apologies at home if you're, um, if you're wondering why uh, there's a slight delay. It's because I think I'm 30 seconds ahead of you. So I'm sitting and waiting for, uh, for your response as we go along. Tegan's in there straight away with the Lion King. Well done, it is indeed. The Lion King says Anton. These are Kim's drawing. Kim, brilliant what you've done here with your themes. I love this next one that she's put in. It took me a little while to get this next one. What is this? What would this be then? So we've had Hook. You've already got that one correct. We have had um, the Lion King. What would this next uh, would this next theme be? And whilst you're doing that, I'm just going to type into um, my little machine here and see what words that we come up with. What have we got? Let me know if you can't see it well enough. I'll angle it differently as well. Let me just put these letters in. L. E, T, I, B, G, I, D, and see what we can uh, see what we can generate here. Right. Has anyone got this one yet? Something east. No, we're not. We're not pointing to the east. Sorry. Let me see if I can get the phone in a bit closer. We're not pointing to the east. We're pointing to the west.
Everybody that sent me in giblet, by the way, congratulations. That's the, uh, that's the highest scoring word that you could have got. Giblet and bilged. Can we not see it? Sorry, let me try and focus that a bit better. So I'll, I'll, I'll try and describe it to you then. We're pointing to the letter W um, on, the, uh, on the compass and it's somebody reading a book. So something west, what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they, let me try and angle this a bit better, sorry. Is that better? That might be better. Not Wicked Witch of the West. No, we're pointing to the West and they're reading a book. What kind of book would it be? Fiction, non-fiction, a story book maybe? Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer to this one. I thought this was brilliant. If I'm gonna hold it up there again, and show it to you because obviously we're going she's been going with the movie themes and this is west side story Maria. well done fiona in fact i'll let fiona have it because she's coming with it straight away west side story which i thought was a really good one took me ages to um to get that one now i think you've seen the theme that kim is going with so finally this is her last one what do you see here well done, Anton. Yeah, a few people coming in with West Side Story. Really, really good one, though, Kim. Lisa's got it right as well. Anton's got it right. What have we got here? I think this one's a fairly easy one to... Uh, to, to Sound of Music. Look at Fiona knows it. She's on all of them. Um, can we get some love for Kim? Because I thought that was brilliant. She took the time to, uh, to send those four through to me today as well. Um, we've got Robin and Mary in. Hiya, Robin. I hope you guys are all well. Um, you're just about to join us for the next game as well. How are we doing on time? Because I know people are going to want to see Boris as well. Um, good. Right. We've got probably time for one more um, round of um, both, really. I've got some more Pictionary to do. So we'll do the rest of the pictures um, and we'll do one more round of words, shall we? Right. Here we go. So lots of people getting it now. Pauline's got it. Yeah, well done. Auntie Hillary's got it. It is the sound of music. Oh, the first letter out is an X. That's interesting. Um, how has everybody's day been today as well? I'm going to put the Q back in. I'm not going to do it with a Q and an X. How have you found the kids have been? How has the homeschooling been? Um, I found it all right here, to be honest with you. Uh, a little bit tricky but nothing too bad. I mean, it's fine, they go back to school on Monday, don't they? Once again, huge thank you to all of the teachers out there. I did not actually realise or appreciate how much you do um, until you're left to, to teach your kids yourself. Um, so a huge thank you to you and to everybody. If you're working for the NHS, whatever you're doing at the moment, if you're out and about delivery driving, stacking shelves, whatever it may be, um fantastic thank you so much for everything we all massively appreciate it and you're going to see it in a minute because there's going to be a whole host of love hearts that are going to be flying up and those are for you so here we go then this will be the last um word game and then i'll go through the last of the pictionaries for this evening so if you have just joined us for the uh for the first time um this is what we're doing we're kind of playing two games at once we're playing anagrams um and we're showing uh pictionary so pictures that um that you guys have sent um, into me or your kids have drawn for us to try and guess what they are so and then we'll talk about what you've been up to today as well and any funny stories that you've got so your letters the last letters are x for x-ray o for obvious b for broadband a for alex r for roger g for goat I did just say Alex Rogers goats. E for every day and P for people. So I've now just said Alex Rogers goats every day people. Those are your letters for the final game of the evening. Put these ones together, see what you can, uh, see what you can put together. Um, and in the meantime, let's get the, uh, the final few pictures that, uh, that you wonderful people have, um, have sent in to me. Um, Anton, today, Anton's been uh, painting the fence in the sun. That's good to hear. Um, Pauline, oh, Pauline, have you not done your homework? 
that's not very good at all is it um, let me know what you guys have been up to what the kids have been up to anything you want to share share it with the group whilst i just have a look through let's see whose pictures we haven't used because i want to use everyone um, who has sent me in a picture so we're going to go back to oscar oscar sent us in um uh some great pictures actually so what could this be oops let's make sure i get it the right way up sorry oscar what could this be this was sent in by oscar that's one or two things i think it looks amazing, to be honest. It looks like it could be both things. What do we, th well, I say it's one or two things. You may see something completely different people here, but remember there are kids watching. What could it be? Helen's been working in homeschooling. Yeah, that must be tricky as well. Is it an aeroplane? Hmm. Let's see what other people think, first of all. It must be difficult if you are working in homeschooling at the same time. It's a football boot. It's correct. It is a football boot. I thought it was a plane when I first saw it as well, but it is a uh, it is a football boot. But how good a drawing is that? Seriously, Oscar, that is a brilliant drawing. It could be a football boot or an aeroplane, or it could be um, it could be. Now I'm holding it up this way. It could be a Wellington boot that is uh, that is like screwed to the wall or something like that. Um, it could be a rocket. It does look like a rocket as well. Uh, there's always one smart one in there. Well, I like it is indeed a Nike boot. But if you've said football boot, then it is a football boot. Um, well done, Oscar. Another brilliant picture. Let's see what other ones we've got in here. And then I will pick up the, um, the words for us again to play with. Um, what else? Ah, oh, yes. Right. Laura sent me in a picture as well. So what... Do we think this is, I'm, I don't know if I can turn it for you, unfortunately. Um, so I'm sorry it's on its side. Let me see, I'm gonna try and turn it. It might flip over though. Uh, it is gonna flip over for me, sorry. Right, let me try and put it that way. So what is this? What do we think this is? I wonder if I zoom into it, if um, it'll let, let me turn it. Let me just try. Right, what do we think this is? I'm going to try and turn it and hope it stays that way up. Ah, it's not going to. Okay. Um, what is it? Makes it... It's a snake charmer. Well done, Jane. It is a snake charmer. Everybody's coming in. That was from Laura. Thanks very much for saying that one in, Laura. And her daughter, I believe, has sent in... Um, now, Chloe sent this one in. And this is another great picture. I'm not going to have to turn it the way it's supposed to be. What do we think's going on here, people? What's going on here? Someone's uh, someone's looking like they're enjoying something, but what is it they're enjoying? This was sent in by Chloe. What do we think's going on? Don't forget on Wednesday night, we're gonna be playing bingo um, as well. We'll have one game of bingo. I will send out the, um, the link to the bingo cards to everybody on Wednesday morning. You can download them to your tablets, to your phones, um, so that you can just literally, you don't need your pen and paper, but I'll send you a link so you can write it down, the numbers as well, if you want to tick them off, however you want to do it. Um, and then uh, coming up, it is, a, it is a Swiss roll. Congratulations to Jane, it's a Swiss roll. Helen's in there as well. Sorry, coming up on Friday, we are going to have another quiz. Let's have another quiz night, shall we? We're going to have um, a time at the beach, though. Let's have a beach fancy dress. So we'll have some cocktails and I'll get some beach themed questions in and, uh, and movies, things that we can act out as well. Um, I've got some more games in as well. Something to tell you about just quickly um, before I go any further. So I've been on the, I've been on the old Internet and, um, you know, see what other kind of games that we've got we've got some great games coming up so i've got catchphrase to play on the telly which uh which i'm sure will be fun i know we did the dog racing last week well this this week well not this week hopefully coming very very soon can't wait for this got no idea what it is um it's pig racing pig racing um so we get to watch pigs run around a farm and bet on them um I've got a music game because people said that they want to guess the music, guess the intro games. So we've got loads of games coming up as well. Um, so lots to be uh, to be entertained uh, and, uh, and have a lot of fun with over the next 12 weeks or however long we are here. Every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But let's just finish up on, uh, on this game that we've got here. These are the, the, the letters which are X, O, B, A, R, G, E 
and P. Gearbox. Gearbox is a great one if that's right. You get lots of people coming in with Gearbox. Well done. If you've got Gearbox, that's awesome. Um, I will uh, I will type it into my trusty machine in a minute and find out. Let me just see if I've got a uh, a couple more um couple more Pictionary ones to show you quickly. Um, I do. I've got two more to show you um, as well. Um, this next one is uh, is very very special to me because this uh, has been sent in to me by a lovely lovely family and lovely little girl called Lucy um, who many of you will know that I work um, with a fantastic charity um, called Spectrum that looks after um, people and families with with kids with um, with with additional needs and learning difficulties and things like this and I spoke to Lucy earlier today on FaceTime and she wanted to uh, to draw a picture um, she she's now but she says she's going to be watching um tomorrow um and she wanted to send in a picture so this is what lucy lover has drawn for me what could it be what could this be it looks like a person with a pet maybe that's uh that'll be my clue i'm just going to see if i if anyone if i can beat gearbox in here B A R G E P. Right, bear with me, let me just see. It's thinking about it. Gearbox, congratulations everyone who got Gearbox. That is the uh that is the top and only seven letter word. So what have we got then? Um a whale. No, it's not a whale, it's not the little mermaid. I'll uh, I'll have a look at a couple more answers. It's not a fish. Right, so if it's not a pet fish, nope. Think, think more. Um, think more. Uh, a domestic, um, as in like would walk around with you. Go, you could go for a walk with it. It's not an elephant. I mean, you could go for a walk with an elephant, Pauline, if you wanted to. Um, but it's uh, it's not an elephant. I know a lot of people think it's an elephant. I'm going to tell you, um, and then I'll go on to the last one. Uh, it is it it is a picture of me with my dog. <laughs> with my bug that's that's what she wanted to draw um and uh, and that's what she sent in so i said that i would uh, i would 100% be showing this so that when she watches it tomorrow um she can see so if uh, again if we can send some love hearts for lucy so she can see that tomorrow when she uh, when she wakes up and has her breakfast lucy brilliant drawing thank you so much for sending me that and the final one of the evening has been sent to uh to us by the oldest member, um, by by a long way, by by a country mile that's watching us this evening, and that is Mick. Mick Scarf, 107 years old, and still here he is, using the internet, joining us on Facebook. What an amazing man he is. Keep self-isolating, Mick, and thanks for sending me these pictures. This, everybody, has been sent to me by Mick. Let me just uh, angle it so I've got it straight. I think we can, can we see that? What could this be? I'm gonna try and describe it a bit more for you so you can see. You got, you got someone there with the number 23, I think, is written on, uh, on his shirt. And up here, you have what looks like an empty cupboard. There is a goal. There is a goal there. You're close with that. Who who wears the number 23? He's put it into the corner of the net. He probably should have worn number seven, but he's gone with 23 because it's probably the more famous number that this footballer um, played with. Played under, rather. Yep, it's someone taking a free kick, but who's taking it? Named his kids after a Shakespeare. Um, bend it like Beckham. Well done, Jane. It is bend it like Beckham. Beckham, congratulations to you. It's Ben and just because I'm a Tottenham fan, as you can see up the top here, Mick has decided to also draw Tottenham's trophy cabinet, which is uh, which is empty. Um, so there we go. Um, I'm going to do one last quick sweep to make sure that I haven't forgotten anyone's. Um, so bear with me because you've all sent me in some great photos. Um, let's do this again if we can next uh next week if you're if you're up for this if you've had fun if we can do this again next um monday night that would be absolutely brilliant i have got one more from um from oscar as well which i will put up for you oscar don't worry let me just um 
see if there's any that I've missed apart from that. No, right, we've got one more from uh, as well. This will be the last one. Matt Pies, is it Liverpool failing to win the championship? It could well be, Matt. This is from Oscar again. It's, this is just say what you see. And again, get your kids, if you want to, uh, to play along, just to, if they've got five minutes, tell them to draw whatever is in their imagination. Like I said, my five-year-old nephew drew me a picture of a kiwi chasing a kiwi. Um, you know, just just couldn't make that up. It, it looks like a maze. It's not a maze. Any other suggestions out there of what this could be? It is a tournament. That's what he sent me through. It's brackets for a tournament. Brackets for a tournament, but it does look like a robot. Lots of different things that it could look like. Um, Oscar, thank you so much for sending that in to me as well. Um, how are we doing for the time? Let's see where we are, shall we? It is, ah, oh, perfect. It's 20 past eight, and I'm sure that uh, a lot of you um, are gonna be tuning into the news as well. So can I just say, um, once again, thank you so much um, for, for joining me, making this fun, um, putting everything, uh, all your comments in, in. That's that's what makes this more interactive and more fun and getting to know each other. Um, I'm gonna sign off, but I will be back on Wednesday night. Wednesday morning, I will send all the links to the bingo cards and everything through. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll play some bingo and have another chat again and, uh, and see how we're going from there. Um, but for, uh, for me and from tonight, thank you so much for joining me. Um, obviously, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you on, uh, on Wednesday. Cheers, guys. Lots of love. Bye.